we're making beef stew today. Oh, look at that. It's going to be hearty and good. Let's get our soup pan going. Soup pot, sorry. We're going to get some beef stew chunks put in there. We're going to brown them out and then we're going to take them out of that pot and get the rest of our stuff going. Get them in there. We're going to season it up with our shiitake from Fire and Smoke Barbecue Company. Ooh, look at that. Now, once it's rendering out some of that fat and getting nice and brown, I'm going to remove it. Right? But keep all that juice. Keep all that juice in the bottom. That's right. Yeah. We want to use that because all of that right there, all oh, that so much flavor that we've built up already. If you know, you know, carrots, onions, celery. Ooh, the making of a great beef stew right there. Let that soak up all those flavors. Give it a little bit of time, right? A couple pieces of onion didn't cut down quite as well. We're going to season that up with our Windy City Barbecue Rub. Once again, it's Fire & Smoke Barbecue Company, guys. Fire & Smoke, BBQ.com, if you want to order any seasonings for yourself. We're going to hit some tomato paste in there once all those flavors start coming together. And we're going to give that a really good mix to kind of incorporate that tomato paste. All right, once we're getting that nice and incorporated, make a little bit of a hole right there, right? Throw in some pre-chopped potatoes. These are raw, they're not cooked, so we're gonna be cooking them while they're in this pot. And we're gonna hit it with our Windy City once again. This stuff gives you beautiful color, guys. There's no sugar, no MSG, no preservatives. It's awesome how you can take the stuff from the grill all the way into the kitchen and back and forth. From the pit to the kitchen. These seasonings will not let you down. Get that incorporated. And then we're gonna come in with our beef stock. We're using a store-bought stock. You can make your own, you can do whatever you want. Right now, it was easier to use a store-bought stock. That whole box in there. and give it a good mix. Let all those flavors start to marry. Get it up to a nice simmering boil. We're gonna add our beef back into it so that that has time to also break down. Wanted to give the potatoes just a few minute head start. I also wanted the potatoes to release some of their starchiness into that water. It helps thicken it up, or into that broth, I guess I should say. Ash is making an appearance in the video right there. We're gonna hit it with that W sauce to add just some more flavor. Get 
It's America's Worcestershire sauce. You got to do it. Now, this is a mixture of just some flour and water to thicken this soup up just a little bit more to make it more of a stew than just a regular soup. You don't have to do this, but this is up to you. I wanted to make it a little thicker. Now you see that? Give it a good mix so that there's no chunks. We're boiling. Ooh, hit it with those frozen peas. Frozen peas only need about five minutes, so we wanna do those right at the end so that they don't become super mushy. And it will drop the temperature of that stew pretty quickly. I'll let it come back up and get all warm. We're gonna get our soup bowl out. And here we go. Oh yeah. If you want it thicker, you can add a little bit more flour, but you don't have to. We want it just to have a little bit of runniness, but still with a good thickness. Guys, that's our fire and smoke beef stew for Soup Monday. Like, follow, and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon.